Hello everyone and welcome to the third installment of Level Up, Dirty Bomb Edition. Today I'm going to be showing the progress I've made and the results I've seen from completing five full levels within the game, but I'm also going to be doing it a little differently this time. So for my past level up videos, I opened all of my cases and spent all of the credits I earned after completing a new level, just to try to make progress tracking a little simpler. But this time I decided to save everything I had until the very, very end of the ordeal. That way we could literally see in front of us exactly what was obtained in those five levels reached, instead of just the results screen that kind of compiled it together. So without wasting any more time explaining this whole thing, let's get right into it. So right off the bat with level 1 we can see that it only took 15 hours to make it through the full 400,000 experience, which isn't too bad, I mean I've done it quicker, but the problem with completing levels more quickly are how little credits you do earn, and in my experience I do try my best to gain as much experience as I can, whether that be through repairing or disabling EVs, or just playing a superhero style of medic or as a great XP grinder, especially with the new badge system that's come out, but that's for another video since the badges were not released when I recorded this episode, and I've also learned to try to play more casually, which is also for another video. But I digress. Within those 15 hours, I had received 15 cases and 41,911 credits. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Now one thing that some people have asked me are how I earn so many of these credits in such a short amount of time. Basically, I'll try to play only whenever my missions are refilled, so I'll complete my three missions, take a three hour break, and come back and complete my new set. Daily bonuses are also great for farming credits as well. But moving on, we have level 2, which took 14 hours and net me 17 cases along with 50,445 credits. More cases and less time, but I also received more credits from that, so I think it's safe to assume that I either got very lucky with both my mission rewards and case drops, or that I played even less casual games in between my mission breaks. By the way, I'm not sure when, because I'm extremely lazy. If you've been following me for a while, now you probably know that. But I wanted to make a commentary video with some background gameplay explaining my opinions on the importance of casual play. Because at least for myself, I've come to learn that I can get very worked up over this game. And in the end, it isn't worth the frustration. But again, I'm steering off track. So, level 3 saw 14 hours once again, leaving me this time with 16 cases and only 38,466 credits. A somewhat substantial loss in terms of those credits earned, but almost 40,000 credits in just over 14 hours is still nothing to scoff at. Level 4 actually only took me 13 hours this time, and within that time I had received 15 cases and 42,101 credits for my efforts. And finally, with level 5, I had received 16 cases and 47,969 credits in about 15 hours. Still plenty of good rewards for the effort I put in, I'd say, so without any further ado, let's take a look at everything together for a moment before we get into the case openings. So in total, these 5 levels, or 2 million experience points, took me around 71 hours to complete and rewarded me with 79 cases along with 220,892 credits. I mean, wow, just looking at all these credits is awe-inspiring to me, and I'm sure some of the elitists in the crowd, it might seem like pocket change to you, but screw you guys, come on. I mean, us small fish gotta have our excitement somehow. I mean, that's theoretically a quarter of a cobalt cart from an equipment case if you spent it on trying to unbox one. Which I would definitely not recommend doing, by the way. I think it would be infinitely better and safer to use those credits to either purchase mercs or to trade up your cards in order to get a cobalt. At least that way you'll also have a much higher chance to get the card you want in a lower rarity such as silver or gold when you're trying to go for that cobalt. And for not having to spend any real world currency, I think that's a fairly good deal. Anyways, the moment of truth is upon us now, and at any moment I'll reveal the results from opening 79 cases, which I'm sure is going to be awesome considering my past luck with case openings, if you follow this type of thing. And... actually, I hate to disappoint you guys, but god, my luck was awful. I mean, it was only 79 cases, but I guess it wasn't all that bad. I can't complain because I did get three bronze cards, which average out to about 1 in a 30 chance. But a silver card is around a 1 in 60 chance and I didn't get any this time. Or any golds unfortunately, I did have a few of those lucky gold pot event cases which I did obtain during this time. You can see how long ago that <laughs> I recorded this stuff. But my luck today just wasn't as good as it sometimes is. 
Ah, well, you can't win them all. But if you do want to see a somewhat decent batch of luck with these Lucky Gold Pod event cases, I opened 80 of them in another video, which I'll link for you in the three usual places, either an annotation on screen, the video description, or the little letter I at the top right of the video for you mobile users. And if you're wondering what I did with all of my credits, well, I usually just buy cases or use them for trading up. But in this case, with all of the upcoming teasers for the Rogue on Vogue event that had been circling around at the time, I decided to save all of my credits until the event launched so that I can spend them all there instead. Was it worth it? Well, maybe, but at this time there's still three weeks left of the event, so if you're curious as to see my progress at the end of the event, then stay tuned because I am tracking my weekly progress along with a small roundup explaining who won and things like that for each week. And if you still don't know how the event works, I did make a video on that as well, so hopefully that can sort out any confusion you have in regards to the event because it is quite the confusing thing. Anyways, I think I've dragged this video on for just about long enough, so I hope you enjoyed it. Just a little, just, just, just a little bit. And I'll see you in the next video. But until then, as always, take care everyone. Here, come over here. I want to show you a trick. Check this out. See that window up there? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we destroyed the objective. Destroyed that was a sweet trick. <laughs> <laughs> now you see me, now you don't. Can't get up there. Oh, what? Did I just get shot through a wall? What the fuck? Whoa, this guy's name is 23, but he's level 24. Whoa. Medico, por favor, medico.